This details our ongoing saga to get our Frontier phone and internet working. Currently we're uh, 14 days without phone and internet and we've gone to th two open service ticket calls and six different Frontier representatives and um, one direct call to uh, that was transferred to the actual dispatcher for Frontier. And this all started on October the, the 26th. And basically I've got um, the internet and the phone were out. Don't know who that individual's name I spoke to, but I was given a ticket number for uh, October uh, the 30th, which is the ticket number was uh, 721-6761. Okay, so that was the quickest they got. They could get me, you know, somebody out here for both our our internet packaged with our um, phone out here to fix it. So basically it's one, two, uh, three, four, five days. So uh, we got a call on, and it was, you know, they called the number that was out. And the phone actually, you know, was not out completely at that time. The internet was completely out. The phone was just hor horribly just hissy and just crackly. We got a call, a message, you know, on the Frontier mail system. And I listened to it. You barely hear it, but it sounded like, you know, Frontier promises communication, promises that there's an a outage in your area, blah, blah, blah. They're going to get to it as soon as possible. Something like that right in that guards. But this was the day that they were actually supposed to work on it, Okay. So nothing happened this day, and you know nothing happened this day and this day since it was common, you know, common cause. I figured, well, they're working on it. Finally, got a hold of uh, working on November, going to the next month, November the first. Talked to Rebecca, actually, it's one B. Uh, she talked with tech support, and they said they were working on it. Now, well, you know, I know the guy named. John, who's worked this area for like 36 years, been through multiple telecommunications companies when they get sold, you know, out. And basically, Verizon had last frontiers got it now. Uh, John wasn't anywhere around. I've looked in all his haunts because I, I talked to him every once in a while when I see him, pull him over. He's technical, he's a very competent person. And he wasn't at any place, any of the hubs that I know of around here. And I know where all the hubs are at. They're technical hubs for uplinking. And one of them's out near our state park near Channel Lake State Park, and uh, nobody around. So, you know, working out now, I don't know where he was at. Um, basically what, uh, the next day on the, uh, on the on November the 2nd, I called Frontier, and uh, they I could talk to an Allison, two L's. Uh, she said it was an 87, uh, 87 uh, customer common outage and that originally and she says they closed it and i says well ours doesn't work she goes well after they close it they call the 87 they call like 10 percent so they called like you know eight people <laughs> and <clears throat> if those people and if eight of those if eight of those you know eight eight of those um for that would be eight so if they called six of the eight and if those Six basically say their phone's fixed, they closed the call. So they closed it, you know, and she said that I'd have to reopen it with a new ticket, which, it, you know, she's, it, they actually closed it on this day, I found out later on, but she said on that, she didn't know about it that day, she said, wait, and I called Janet and Frontier on the November 5th. So this is day 11 without internet or phone, okay? Um, she's, I, I told her about everything, and at this point, there's several pages of notes she had to read through, and each one of these and each one of these individuals who are highly competent, when they read through their notes, they, they, they keep reading and reading. So this is all, all, all ongoing, and they understand that. And there's a limited amount they can do, but still they're very competent in being able to understand the options available to me, uh, the technical support in notwithstanding. So uh, she set up another number, 722-9984, and said that uh, you know, she wrote a report, Janet wrote a report, and, and escalated it. And that's what she said. And she said they would call or text for an appointment. Well, didn't get any call this day on the 5th, which is day 11. On day 12, the 6th, which was election day, didn't get any call. Uh, called again on the 7th. And um, she took five minutes. Jasmine, very competent, read five minutes through the notes. Finally got me to Zach in actual tech support. And I, I asked him, and he said what had happened was 
is uh, he tried to escalate it and it would, the computer wouldn't let him do it. And then he investigated further and it indicated that there was a escalation freeze, which means that it doesn't matter how long on day, this is actually day 14, T, T minus one. Uh, this is the T minus one, so it's two weeks. And they actually had opened and closed one ticket saying that, you know, the common, original common, common cause was fixed, which it wasn't. I got a new ticket. And then he's saying that I can't escalate that new ticket even though I've been out for oh, two weeks. I can't escalate it. He says, they, I, I asked him why. He said, there's chances there's other people, um, you know, and to set up an appointment for all of them is not possible. He said, possibly. He didn't know. He said, well, they might have a manpower shortage too, which the problem is, is that we've been out 14 days. So, you know, whatever priority list they're on, that needs to be pushed up some at some point into it. But no, uh, the the number I got from Janet on November 5th, which was day 11 about it, she, the 7229984, was for another week. So that's three weeks. Three weeks without, you know, internet or phone service from Frontier Communications. And, uh, you know, she said that basically the purpose of this, somebody call or text me, was actually to, when she filed her escalation report, was to, to actually, you know, actually she said this date will always be there as a final date for, you know, something to be done, but you should, I would get a call or text, never did. Um, Zach in tech support basically said that there was an escalation freeze. I couldn't, I couldn't escalate it. So I'm just basically, we're basically screwed at this point. We have to wait to the 12th. To, and he said once again that was a, that was a ticket that was an estimated closing date for something some con, con, uh, some constraint which they have uh, might be equipment it might be manpower it's hard to say but on escalation it shouldn't be manpower if they've got people out here already you know what I mean if it was diverting actually a call or somebody had call that you know was was you know they had free time in that schedule for calls that had back to back that took less time. So basically, we're out day 18, which is T minus one, which is 19. So we're two days away from having three weeks worth of, you know, no internet and no phone. Uh, my wife telecommutes. Um, she's uh, basically had surgery, so she's, you know, she's not even supposed to be out doing stuff, and she's had to telecommute. And I've got two uh, two uh, commercial websites that I'm trying to have. I'm trying to. Uh, figure out how to support these and going in town and <laughs> working in public library is my only option. We've hooked up our phone and gotten rid of all of our, uh, our, you know, hotspot hours. So they're all gone. Um, so you know, we don't have any options at this point, but actually getting the service that we provide. So basically we're not getting any service right now from Frontier. And, then, and, the, and all of the people I've talked to, the six people I've talked to at Frontier, they all have said they're competent people. There's nothing wrong with them or the process they use, the service to call, and they're very amenable. But none of them have given me an option as to what we're supposed to do. Let's say go ahead and they, 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 they hook it back up. Well, you know, we've three weeks, you know, $120 a month. Um, do we gain that back? Who do we call to gain that back? And plus, you know, um, this line, um, John has, told, has had this line f scheduled to be replaced for two years. The, the line that feeds the hub that supplies our internet. And, you know, he, he said they, that that being said, that they may or may not do it. It's been three years, so, you know, they're probably not going to. So, you know, if you're getting bundled services from uh, one company, any company, and especially, you know, like in this case, Frontier, I, I've not gotten a reason why any of this is occurring or what the constraint is. You know, this person here wasn't, Zach wasn't able to see, Zach with the ZAC was not able to see the specific reason. So, you know, as a customer, it's like, it'd be nice to understand what the constraint is. You know, is there a piece of chassis equipment that's not available, it has to be special order, blah, 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 blah. blah. Um, you know, is it a manpower shortage? You know, whatever. The, he he either wasn't saying or he didn't know. And I, I get the feeling he didn't know. So, at this point, we're three weeks out. Talked to six different people. Uh, closed out two tickets on this. I mean, they got a new open ticket. But um, the thing of it is, is one got closed out. Their their AQL sampling, uh, average lot quality of sampling for follow up on closures of tickets sucks. I'm sorry, Frontier. I mean, seriously, 10% and of those, you only called eight. <laughs> well, I was eight and you only called six. See what I mean? So it's like you get six out of 87 and you say, okay, it works fine. Um, and they used to call everyone when they used to do this and they quit. 
which is, I'm actually, they don't have any, I understand how that works. And they had no, uh, they had no reason to ever do this for a service related um, statistic to say that's how they could follow it up on calls. There's no way. Um, so this whole mass is basically un, un, unfathomable in terms of how we're going to get it, you know, three weeks out with no internet or no phone. So I'm just passing this along, you know, if Frontier wants to take this down, want me, wants me to take this down, get out here and fix my internet, fix our phone. You know what I mean? It's like, that is not too much to ask for the $120 we're paying a month. And it's just, it's just ridiculous. So don't know if this will do any good. There's limited number of options we have. Um, just throwing it out there.